Hi there, in this presentation series, we are going to look at the urinary system. A friend of mine is a nephrologist and recently he was telling me that one of his patients has got two kidneys, left kidney and right kidney. And I was scratching my head and I was laughing and telling him that, well, everybody has got two kidneys, left and right. And then he was telling me that you don't understand the patient of mine in his left kidney there is nothing right and in his right kidney there is nothing left and then he went on to explain to me what he meant by that diving deep into the anatomy and physiology of the kidneys and ureter, bladder, urethra, you name it the entire urinary system and at the end he, he gave me a laundry list of references and resources that I can use to read and research which I did and the end result is the urinary system. So this urinary system is intended for everyone, the customers, the field partners and the technical underwriters. Talking about the customer's perspective, sometimes we may have something that we are not comfortable with talking to our doctors, having some fundamental basic awareness of how our body works helps to ask the appropriate question to the doctors. Same thing can be said with the field partners when the potential of the existing or the new customers are approaching you. If they start something along those lines, then you can ask the appropriate follow-up questions. Needless to say for the technical underwriters, you are life underwriters, lifelong continuous education is a must. So consider this as a training tool that you can add to your overall continuous education program. So with that being said, let's move on. So the urinary system, I'll try to deviate from not using the fancy medical terms because we have the field partners and the ultimate customers. Uh, but there are few things that we all need to know, then only we can understand the entire process. So, urinary system is basically is a filter. Kidneys are the filters and in each kidney there are 1 to 1.2 million tiny filters. We'll get into that. That when the blood comes to the kidney, kidney purifies the blood, keeps the good stuff, removes the bad stuff, filters the waste products, the urea or the uh, nitrogen, so on and so forth. And it passes down through the ureter and the bladder and the urethra out to our body in the form of urine. So it has a series of tubes and ducts to pass this waste. Uh, these tubes are connected to the blood vessels and the digestive system and we'll, we'll get into the details how the different organs play a role and are working as a team. So basically the uri urinary system helps the rest of our body work properly. The key word here is filter. What kidney does, kidney filters the blood, purifies the blood and tries to filter and tries to get rid of the waste products that we don't need. If it remains in our body, it gets a problem. So when I, when I read the word filter, it tells me that you know what, customers and agents, when they strike the conversation, unfortunately some of us, some customers may have terminal illness, concerning cancer history that could be unfortunate decline. And our field partners, they will filter and they will say that, you know what, based on your history, this company would not extend any offer to you. So let's try somewhere else. So something that connects with the filter. Or let's say there are areas where there is a possibility that an offer may be extended. So they sit down, write the application, go to the home office. Technical underwriter reviews, they order the blood urine or the medical records as the case may be and what they try to do is they actually filter. When I look at the filter, I love coffee, many of us they like coffee, so there are a variety of coffee machines. So in coffee machine, um, machine what does depending upon what kind of machine you use, it filters. 
So the coffee that you want to enjoy and drink remains and the remainder or the best stuff okay the residuals remains or gets separated filters out so that's what kidney does in our body so this could be the extra water salt toxins and other waste products okay so kidney does the filtering of our blood separates the toxins that we don't need from the nutrients that we do need stores and carries talking about the entire system stores and carries the urine out of the body so we'll get into the to the slides where you can see but just to uh, get our fix wet so the kidneys we have two kidneys left and right there are two tubes that goes connects the kidneys to the bladder one to the each side so we have left and right ureters then there is one bladder the ureters connects the uh, kidney and the bladder and then at the end we have the urethra depending upon male or female uh, there are some uh, gender specifics uh, that can make up the entire urinary system they all work together to filter store and remove the liquid waste from our body and uh, when i say work together think this way the customers the the field partners, the home office technical underwriters, the data scientists, the actuaries, the claim folks, the senior management team, in the entire life insurance industry, they all work together, right? Just like that. Just like that, we have in the urinary system, the kidneys, the ureter, the bladder, the urethra, they all work together. And once we go deep into the various aspects of the urinary system, we will see that even the brain, the heart, the lungs, the kidney, the liver, they all work together as a team. They all talk to each other. There are nerve signals that spinal cord and brain send, uh, sends to the different organs. Different organs are releasing enzymes, hormones, and they all work together as a team. So teamwork is needed. God has created our body such that, that we have to have a teamwork, not only in the life insurance industry, but beyond. And these organs, they work constantly, needless to say. So just like our field partners constantly look for to help out the potential of the existing or the new customers, right? Something like that. So the filtration of the blood and making the urine is one of the key thing that kidney does. As I say, a few things. Uh, kidney is as big as your fish, okay? The ureters are the two tubes I just explained, the bladder that follows and it holds the urine and then it goes to the urethra and bladder is like a, a, a balloon set, um, hollow made of muscle and set like a balloon. It can expand as it fills up and most bladders can hold up to two cups of urine. Urethra is the end organ in the urinary system and from bladder to urethra and from urethra the urine goes out from our body. Okay, it is the opening depending upon the gender specifics. So that is needless to explain. So these are the same things that blood enters into the kidney through lots of little arteries. I'm not going to go into the uh, pathological or anatomical details to confuse our customers or the field partners, but simply speaking, blood comes to the kidney, kidney filters the blood, separates the waste products from the nutrients, the vitamins, minerals, nutrients, proteins, they return back into the bloodstream, okay? And the waste products, kidney forwards, downwards through the ureters into the bladder that goes through urethra and from urethra it leaves the body. So this could be a, a good way to uh, uh, see that uh, uh, we have a, a picture of the two kidneys, the two ureters and the bladders and the urethra okay so the left and right kidney the ureters uh, then you get the bladder and the urethra 
One more way to look at this urinary system is the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and ureter. Get these things in your head that way. When I say kidneys, when I say ureters, when I say bladder, you, you will see what's going on in the ureter, right? So, and I was going to throw lots of disorders and diseases here, but kidneys, ureters, bladder, urethra, you can have a congenital, you can have a choir, you can have a primary, you can have a secondary, something is wrong within the urinary system per se, or something that is wrong in outside of the urinary system that may have impact on the urinary system. They may, uh, there is a correlation uh, for 10 different reasons. You can have infections, uh, variety of diseases, I'm not going to go into the details, uh, as we move on, we will have a separate videos to cover all these details. So you can have uh, urinary tract infections, sexually transmitted infections. Um, when we talk about the urinary problems, urinary inconsistency or the leakage, overactive bladder, these are the frequently seen uh, with the gentlemen, um, inflammation of the prostate, uh, benign prostate hypertrophy or prostate cancer, these things are unfortunately out there and statistically speaking are frequently seen by the home office underwriters and even the field partners would say the customers, they would also agree on this one. Variety of kidney diseases are out there. Uh, we can have a chronic kidney disease uh, because of mainly the two big contributors are the high blood pressure and the diabetes. Okay. So controlling your blood sugar and controlling your blood pressure are very critical for the kidney. We can have a polycystic kidney disease, uh, that's an interesting topic. You may end up having acute or chronic renal failure uh, that may require a dialysis or a kidney transplant. The dialysis is what kidney does that God has given to us, the filtering part, that is done through the machine because kidney starts not working as, efficient, as efficiently as it should. And even if that fails, and more than likely, when you are going to the dialysis, you are on the uh, waiting list of uh, kidney to be donated to you. Okay? So, if and when the matching kidney through the family member or, or living person or someone who has died, if the kidney does match and if all goes well, then probably the kidney transplant takes place. There are complications associated with that. Uh, we'll get into those details later on. Interstitial cystitis, the painful bladder syndrome, again it causes inflammation in the bladder, frequently encountered impairment when it relates to the urinary system. Uh, as a general rule of thumb, medications, physical therapy, uh, if needed surgery, in general the overview are the possible uh, tools as far as treatment goes but as a starting point okay let's remain healthy and the best thing we can do is watch our diet uh, have a, a healthy diet uh, drink plenty of food and keep the urinary system healthy that's what we can do so we'll get into all these details in the subsequent presentation let's take a quick break and see you soon take care bye now